Hello, Stevie's. Here we are at one of our favorite spots to stop and get pictures and all that stuff. Meet people. Man, we we'll always meet somebody here at this spot. Just met Isaac from the Omaha area. He's a cool kid. Took some drone footage of his CBR 600. Those are cool bikes. But it's like 90 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going here, get rolling. First day I've ridden this bike since we got home from Florida. Of course, some of you know a lot of stuff has happened since then. to answer today a question that I get asked a lot about why I chose the Road King over a street glide or road glide I had an electric glide I bought brand new in 06 I had it for 11 years and then I bought this Road King before the electric glide I had a 98 Road King with the Evo motor in it wish I still had that the biggest reason why I went back to a Road King is because I wanted the option again of being able to take my windshield off whenever I wanted to. And I really don't like having the windshield on anymore. I, I would rather ride without it. There are times when the windshield's handy. I have a long ride windshield, a 20 inch windshield that has a recurve at the top and man, it, it moves air like crazy. And I had that on there when we went down to Florida, but every time we were at the Airbnb, I would take it off. <laughs> but riding in the rain, it's nice, but it also sucks. It does stop some of the rain from hitting you. If you're in a torrential downpour, it doesn't. I mean, it, it helps a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't stop a bunch. Um, the nice thing about not having a windshield in the rain is that your visor gets cleared off. Um, with the wind when you're riding with the windshield you've got to kind of stick your head out uh, behind the from behind the windshield let the wind blow some of the water or your visor on your helmet i had the option when we got back to the when we got to our airbnbs i had the option of taking the windshield off and i did so while we were at daytona bike week i had the windshield off um the first couple nights we stayed in the land the land Florida uh, and while we were at the Airbnb there I took the windshield off and then we rode to the next Airbnb and obviously I had to take the windshield with me although I, I really thought about just leaving it behind <laughs> no it was it was handy I and mean, if you're riding with a half helmet yeah the, the windshield's awesome then man that vet sounds pretty good doesn't it not very often that I hear a car over my bike. Hmm, disappointing. But then Amy and I went down to the Florida Keys after we were done with our Airbnb in Orlando. And I had the windshield on all the way down there. I had the windshield on back to Sunny and Angie's. I took it off when we were at Sunny and Angie's though. And we rode around quite a bit. Uh, Sunny and Angie were awesome tour guides. They took us to some really cool places. They took us to a key right there by where they live in Port Charlotte. And I can't remember what the name of it was, but like 10, 15 million dollar houses and stuff. It's crazy, people with their own private beaches. It was, uh, it was really cool. We took some pictures there too. Somebody was nice enough to let us park right out in front of their, in front of their house and take some pictures. That was awesome. People are cool. People are nice to motorcyclists. It's pretty awesome. But 
like today it's like 90 degrees and I am digging not having a windshield today also need to thank everybody that showed up for the Great Plains Moto Meet that was awesome that was a good time met a lot of people um, that I hadn't met before Sandy and Angie came up from Florida for that I mean they came up to the Midwest for some other stuff but uh, they they were nice enough to come up hang out for the Great Plains Moto Meet um, some, some things happened in our lives and I was not able to really to really run it so a huge thank to Kelly and Stephanie for taking that over and kind of running with it and being in charge of it and they're hired but today is the first day I've gotten out since since uh, on this bike since we got back from Florida the Road King to me is is the greatest bike out there because lots of gravel you get you get the touring bike chassis but you get the open feel of a cruiser with no windshield touring bike also handles better like in the wind stuff like that just because of its weight i love the sound of this bike that's some of the reasons why I have a road king instead of like an electric glide or a road glide to answer the questions I get asked but I mean one of the biggest things is the look I absolutely absolutely love the look of the road king I mean the road glides and the street glides look good don't get me wrong but man they don't they don't look like this <laughs> you know so a road king also is um, a lot easier to, to modify. I mean the handlebars are easier to do if you want to put a hangers on it like I've got or T-bars even I've seen them with T-bars. I like the a hangers. I've ridden bikes with T-bars so this road is extremely rough as you can probably hear in my voice. Before when I went over this with the regular touring suspension just the air shocks and the premium Harley suspension I could not talk and do a video on this road. But now with the legends I can at least I can at least talk and you can still understand what I'm saying. But riding a Road King, I mean there's no there's no other bike that feels like it. The heritage is close, but I mean it's still it's it's not it's not this, it's not a Road King. I mean there's a reason they call it the Road King. It's an awesome bike to ride. And if I wanted to, I could go home, slap the windshield on it, go for a pretty long ride. I've ridden a long ways without a windshield. I've been up to Sturgis and back a couple times with no windshield. I've been down to Eureka Springs and back with no windshield. Against my better judgment, I put the windshield on it when I put it in the trailer to go down to Florida. And then when I unloaded the bike in Georgia, it was super cold. So I left the windshield on and you know, one thing after another, yeah, yeah. the road is closed. I always forget that. Good thing you have options here. So my Road King is a 2016, which is the year before they came out with the Milwaukee 8. I like my twin cam. I I like the sound of it. I like the shake <laughs> as much as some people don't like it. When Angie rode this bike, she couldn't believe how much it shook. Of course, she came off a 2019 Heritage and got on this. That was the day that she rode the Fury and Sunny rode the Fury. Those were good times. Life was simpler back then, that's for sure. But the Road King is just the it's the classic look from Harley Davidson. I mean, the Heritage has bags, windshield, all that, but it's not a touring bike. It's not the big frame. It's not the big six gallon tank like this one has. But yeah, so in a nutshell, that's why I like the Road King. I like, I like being able to see this. I like all the chrome. I know the Road King specials are all blacked out, but I like 
I like chrome. I think God intended everything to be chrome. So yeah. And I mean, I love the, the tank. I love the, the, the speedometer on the tank. I love, I love the classic look of the tank. I love having the touring bike. I love being able to take the windshield on and off as I please. And that's, uh, yeah. To me, that's the, that's the biggest thing. And I could put a Batwing fairing on it. I could put an FXR style fairing on it, but I don't, I don't want a fairing on it. I like being able to just take the windshield off whenever I want to, or, you know, put the windshield on when I have to, because it's, it's off way more than it's on. I don't even know where it is right now. How bad is that? It's in the garage. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's on the deep freeze. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know where it is now. And as life slowly transitions back to normal, we will we'll probably we'll hopefully we'll start doing more videos. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.